How's it going today, guys? My name is JSP, and before I get started with this, I just want to uh, just make sure this is my opinion, not your opinion, not his opinion, not her opinion. This is my opinion. So, if you disagree with me, kindly shut up and uh, argue a wall in the comment section, please. So, this is my picks for my personal going into the season, at least right now my personal top 10 quarterbacks. And I have some honor honorable mentions at the end where it could have varied, like this person could possibly sneak. I think I have three honorable mentions that they could have possibly snuck into the top 10 of quarterbacks. So I'm gonna start with number 10, all right? This is gonna get controversial real quick. So if you don't like my opinion, like I said, argue with a wall in the comment section below. Number 10, Lamar Jackson. I actually am not a big fan of Lamar Jackson. I'm sorry, Ravens fans. I'm not a big fan of Lamar Jackson. He's a good quarterback. He's not great. I don't think he's going to win you a Super Bowl. Um, but the only reason he's on the list for me is because there's not that many good quarterbacks in the league. Honestly, this was very hard to even fit 10 quarterbacks on 10, a top 10 list. So Lamar Jackson's on there for me. Um, yeah. He, I, I'm just not a fan of him. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I watch him. He's not very good at throwing the ball. I mean, yeah, he he has some splash plays when, uh, in the air, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm not a big fan. Uh, number nine got Dak Prescott again. Not a big fan. I think he's better than Lamar Jackson. He's definitely better, um, but I don't know. I think. Dak Prescott is one of those quarterbacks that he needs a team around him for him to succeed. And that is probably something very stupid to say because every quarterback needs that. Look at what happened with Deshaun Watson two years ago. He went fucking four and 12. So I'm stupid. Um, but anyway, again, number nine, Dak Prescott. He's lucky he even made the list. Number eight, Matthew Stafford. Again, He's a great quarterback, but he's one of those quarterbacks that needs a team around him. Won the Super Bowl last year. Look at that. Look at what happened when you put a team around Matthew Stafford. You win a fucking Super Bowl. Honestly, they might fucking win it again. They might. They only got better over the uh, over the offseason so far. Deshaun Watson, number seven, Deshaun Watson. Um... Who freaking knows if he'll be, you know, the same as what he was uh, two years ago because we haven't seen him play in a whole freaking season. So I'm going off of what he should be because who knows if this affected his play, his mentality. I mean, it obviously affected his mentality, but who knows if it if that mentality affects the play on the field. The, the effort, I mean, I, I think the effort will still be there. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, but who knows if he's going to be the, sh the same Deshaun Watson as, uh, as we know and love. Um, because, you know, all this stuff that happened off the field, obviously. So, number seven. That's the only reason he's not number seven. A lot of people are probably going to hate me for that. Because he's a better quarterback than that. But I'm going to put him at seven for now. Um, Justin Herbert. He's only getting better. He's entering his prime. He's doing really good. The same thing with the Chargers. They only got better during the offseason. They got Khalil Mack, unfortunately, but it was time to move on. I understand the deal now. Um, yeah, they only got better. They re-signed uh, Mike Williams, uh, Austin Eckler. Just that, that team is, is uh, stacked and should be ready to go um, in that division because that division is going to be very, very hard to uh, come out in first place. Um, for all the teams, because they're all definitely competing this year. And uh, yeah, no, Justin Herbert, number six. Number five is Joe Burrow. Sorry, he's at five right now. Um, the four, honestly, the, the the top four could be, actually no, the, uh, uh, two through four could be kind of interchangeable, but um, I, this is how just I made it, okay? Argue to a wall in the comment section, like I said. Um, anyway, Joe Burrow, 
He's only getting better, just like Justin Herbert. He's entering his prime. Um, he's in kind of a weak division. Sorry, I forgot Deshaun Watson is in a division. Never mind. It's not a weak division. It's it's pretty. It's a pretty damn good division. So I think it's going to be the Browns and Bengals on top this year. Um, uh, at least that's what I hope. Because I hate the Steelers, but now Trubisky's on the Steelers, so I kind of have to like the Steelers because I like Trubisky. Um, anyway, number four. It hurts my soul to say it, but Aaron Rodgers. He's at four, okay? I'm sorry, Packers fans. He's at four, okay? Until you get past the NFC Championship, he's at four, okay? All right? He's at fucking four. So call me up when he, when he gets past the NFC Championship. And he's... I honestly think... Hold on. Controversial time. I think he's going to go... Whew. Yeah, he won two MVPs two years in a row. Not next year. I'm telling you right now. I'm warning you Packers fans. That massive fucking deal is going to come bite you in the butt. All right? Aaron Rodgers sits at number four. Patrick Mahomes, number three. Again, I'm not really a Patrick Mahomes fan. And honestly... If he got drafted to any other team, I don't even think he would be on this list. I'm sorry. Sorry, Chiefs fans. It's, it's true. You get rid of Tyree Kill, who does he have? You get rid of uh, Travis Kelsey, who does he have? I, I don't even think he would have been to a single Super Bowl. I don't even think he'd be on a contending team. Patrick Mahomes is good. He's really good. And he, I mean, he's, he's kind of one of those people that you need to put stuff around him, like people around him. Everyone always shits on us for not drafting Patrick Mahomes. But what if the Bears drafted Patrick Mahomes? He would definitely not be as a, as good as he is right now. He would not be as good. We wouldn't. We didn't, he would not have brought us to a Super Bowl. And I'm sorry. I don't. I I'm a Bears fan, and I still don't think so. We have such a shitty offense. The past four years, he definitely would not have. He would have elevated people. I think we would have maybe made it to the playoffs and and uh, had a winning record. But no, no. Having Travis Kelsey, Tyree Kill, a decent offensive line definitely freaking helped him out a whole lot. Um, so, again, Chiefs fans, I'm sorry. Argue a wall in the comment section below. Um, Tom Brady is number two. He is number two. I thought he was actually going to retire. I will never believe it again. I will never, ever believe it again. All right? Never. He is only getting better and... I mean, I believed it, but I kind of thought in my head it didn't make sense. He's He's been playing his best football in his goddamn 40s, and he's just going to retire just like that? On his, like, he's, play, he's pretty much in his prime still. Why would you retire in your prime? It just makes no sense. He's still play, playing some goddamn good football, so number two, and he's he's honestly getting better and better every year. And they're, get, they're they still have a decent team around him. On the Buccaneers, so Tom Brady number two. Josh Allen is my number one. He is my number one. Over the last year, two years, he has really grown on me, and I be I've become a Josh Allen fan. And I I am okay. Call me biased. I am okay. That's why he's my number one because I'm freaking biased. But he is probably the most fun quarterback to watch play. And that's probably why he's number one, because I like watching him play. But man, just look at his highlights and holy shit, he can play ball, man. I think he's going to be number one this year. I think he's going to win MVP. I'm predicting it right now. Right now, okay? You all owe me five bucks if he, if he uh, gets MVP, okay? All of you watched, you all owe me five bucks. So, Josh Allen, number one this year. MVP, possibly winning a Super Bowl. That team only got better, and I will definitely be rooting for the Bills. Bears comes first, though. Obviously, Bears is my team. Unfortunately, ungoddamn fortunately, they're my team. I have to pay attention to them. I grew up in Chicago, and I, I will always be a Bears fan. But I'm also going to be rooting for the Bills. Possibly a little bit of the Bengals, too. Because I do like Joe Burrow. I like that team. I like Joe Mixon. Uh, all that stuff, too. So... Josh Allen is definitely my number one. He is definitely my favorite quarterback to watch right now. So I'm going to be paying attention to that team and him uh, the next year. So honorable mentions. These are picks that could have made it in like 8 through 10. 
range or they could have slipped in the top 10 for me but they didn't make it in the end uh, is Kyler Murray who freaking knows about him he's a, he when he's high he's freaking high he 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 plays freaking he's like a magician he is so freaking good at football when when he's actually so high and then his lows are low I, I just I don't understand Kyler Murray like he's he's really good one game like he's the best quarterback MVP one game and then the next game he's like way down here like what the fuck just happened is this Kyler Murray I don't really understand it but yeah Russell Wilson again not a quarterback I'm that big of a fan of but I will respect uh, the way he plays the way he throws the ball the way he works he takes care of his body just everything and him in a new system he can possibly be a top 10 quarterback again this year because last year um, he definitely wasn't but I am a little worried for Denver fans because I live in Denver uh, they're very excited about him but I keep telling him he's coming off his worst year yet so I uh, I wouldn't get too excited um, I like Russell Wilson a little bit more that he's in Denver um, getting away from Pete Carroll so I mean I I wish him luck but I don't know he's not a top 10 for me right now but he could possibly be again this year that's why he's in my honorable mentions next honorable mention is Justin Fields okay I know it I know I I know I get it I get it okay I'm a Bears fan okay I'm a Bears fan I think if he takes the next step Ryan Poles actually gives him that offense that he deserves he could definitely be a top 10 quarterback no question no question not, not, not a question at all and okay call me bias I'm a Bears fan what, what, do, what do you want from me of course I'm gonna put Justin Fields on this, this this list I'm a huge Justin Fields fan so yeah that's my list you got 13 QBs let me know what you change what whatever so yeah, just argue in the comments. I'm gonna fucking I'm not even gonna pay attention to the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next